Okay, so last episode, we filled out our rotation, and now I feel like we're finally ready to try and make World Series. But I have to be honest, I sort of wonder if it's possible to make World Series with this team. Like, with all of the new cards that have came out, I don't know that our team's ever going to be able to keep up. And that's kind of been the point of the series since the beginning, was that because I can't buy cards, it's really difficult to keep up with all the new ones. Oh, look. Look at all these cards I can't hit, get, including this amazing Mookie Betts. All right, well, here we go. So we were a 95 overall team. This is what we look like. The biggest thing we're missing is, is another left-handed reliever, so I opted to just throw in Silver Chapman in hopes that just one more lefty might help us out. But it's crazy to think you've got a silver on this team again. It sort of feels like a step back, sort of doesn't. So they came out with this juicy pack set. Um, it features an Orlando Cepeda. It features a Rod Carew, a Hunter Catfish, Richie Ashburn, Jason Hayward, and Robin Yount. I would typically go after one of these cards, but the only card that would help our team would be Vita Blue, and I'm not sure I want to waste 30,000 stubs just for Vita Blue, because I'm not sure that we'll even get them. So I'm gonna pass on this one if they come out with a juicy set number two. All right, we are 24 and three. We're stuck in wild card, but now we've got some pitch, and I'm hopeful that this new pitching is good enough to help us get into a, a real opportunity, a World Series. So we're gonna start today's episode off with a ranked game. Let's see how it goes. We're gonna be picking Iron Man Stadium and just pray for me. I've reached the point where I need prayers. So here we go. We are facing the Puerto Rico Islanders and it looks like a good battle is a Bruin here. We've got Jose Ramirez leading off against Michael Kopech. Here we go. Let's get it going. Well, that's, uh, huh. that's just so weird. What? We didn't even start. He quit. I didn't even get a first pitch thrown at me. And he quit? What? That was weird. All right. Well, let's, uh, uh, I really don't want another Mickey Mouse, uh, episode, please. So, uh, let's just hope that that was a one-off. Now I'm saving Adam Wainwright and Nick Lodolo for when we get into a hall of fame. I, I finally do feel like we have a good rotation. So I'm excited to see them work. Um, they're all filled up now. So I'm going to go with Yuri Perez because he's probably our weakest link now, which is just crazy to say out loud. All right. Sandy Alcantara's 0 2 to 1. Soto is hit into deep left field. It's hit well. It is gone. So Juan Soto in his first at bat in the two hole goes deep on an 0-2 pitch. He just kept with the fastball. Ronald Acuna, the pitch to him. Hit a ton, deep left center. This is back, track, wall, and it's gone. It's a tie ball game. On honestly what looked to be a pretty good pitch. This was just a slurve down and away. And he was just able to take it and hit it hard. So Fernando Tatis Jr., the live series card, steps in this guy hits pretty well with his cards you can see it in the averages plus laughing mountains a little bit of a boom box as this is boomed into right field back to back it's two to one that was a good pitch that pitch was way outside not even a strike but it's a two one ball game 2-0 pitch to melendez is crushed deep left center and it's gonna go Two to two. Meadows is a great low ball hitter. He struggles with the pitch up. One, two pitch coming from Sandy Alcantara. Hit a ton and the King is back. Right center, no doubt about it. Austin Meadows gives us a lead. It's three to two, 479 off the bat is 41st as an Ironman. Welcome back to the lineup. 
There go the runners trying to stay out of the double play and it gets through a base hit. Runner will score. It's four to two. Ironman lead and Manny Machado was stuck. Or what was that? Corey Seager was stuck trying to make the play to get the runner out and he couldn't collect the ground ball. So it keeps him out of the double play. And now it's four to two with MJ Melendez up. MJ Melendez, the 0-1 to him. This is hit a ton, deep right field. Can he keep it fair? It is gone. And a three run dagger, 7-2 Ironman. MJ Melendez, his second of the ball game. De La Cruz hits it a ton. Deep right center, back, track, wall, and it's gone, it's off the top of the wall. Back to back, and it's eight to two. Ellie De La Cruz, his seventh, just sneaks over the wall. Oh my goodness. And here comes Austin Meadows. Base hit through the hole, and they are red hot right now on Alcantara. And Yuri Perez, base hit down the right field line. Here comes the runner for the plate. The throw is to third. Nine to two, the pitcher. Yuri Perez getting involved. Oh my goodness. What a game. It'll be Peter Fairbanks who features a fastball slider sink. The only problem with three pitch pitchers is that you only have to worry about two of the three pitches. He's gonna have an off-speed slider or he's gonna come at you with hard stuff. So I can pretty much just sit fastball and adjust down into the slider as I see it. Bruce. Hit well, deep right field. It's got some arc to it. This has got some distance to it. Track, wall, leaps, gone. Ellie De La Cruz, his second. And hello to the ball game to Peter Fairbanks. His eighth homer as an Ironman. And it's 10-5. Correa hits it well. Deep right center. This is back. Track. Wall. It's off the wall. The base of the wall. Correa will take a double from this one. Yuri Perez just got, just kind of tapped one over the corner infielders last time up for a base hit. Let's see what happens here. That ball's hit a ton. Deep left center. Deep left field, and it's off the wall. Yuri Perez off the center of the wall for a single. He almost took him out of here. That would have been insane. Two and two. Juan Soto at the plate here. Pitch to him. Struck him out, and Yuri Perez sets down the slugging left-hander, and that'll do it. Finally, enough was enough. When he couldn't respond two innings in a row, that finishes the ball game, and we will move right back into division series. And a nice showing from the Ironmen there. The offense picking up Yuri Perez, who got hit out, who got hit around kind of early and often. Um, this was a big one. We're going to get a classics pack out of that, which is really nice. Uh, we're also going to get a couple rewards as well. Good chunk of XP from that game. Let's check out our division series reward. Got the pineapple bat and uh, otherwise looking good there. Our classics pack. Ooh, interesting. I wasn't sure what was going to be in here. I didn't even look. Ian Happ. Okay, well, hold on a second. All of a sudden, Ian Happ versus lefties seems to be an incredible option at second base. This is really intriguing to me. Jackie Bradley Jr. is an interesting option as well, and so is Danny Jensen, but I think we're gonna go Ian Happ here. He's got a beautiful swing, and uh, this allows me to get a little cheeky with things. I can put De La Cruz there, and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, Ian Happ can slide into second base. Now, he's not gonna be someone who crushes lefties, but Ian Happ has the ability to do some damage against righties, which could be a pretty big deal for us. So for now, we'll give this a shot. Ellie De La Cruz will play short. Ian Happ will play second. That's where we're going to leave you in today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Iron Men. Things are getting hot once again, and uh, we're looking to keep our push going as we try and get into world series rating we'll see you next time and thank you as always happy hitting bye bye